Hey, are you awake? Good. I know I don't really talk like this very often, but I just get nervous. It's hard. To find the right words. To properly express how much you mean to me. I mean. <laughs> but you do mean a lot to me, you know? You are one of the sweetest people I've ever met. I mean, <laughs> I never expected to find someone who could put up with me like you have. When we first met at that party, you were the only one who bothered to really talk to me. Why would anyone want to talk to the blind girl after all? <laughs> but you just came right over to me and started talking to me like we were best friends. You kept fucking up and saying things like, yeah, see that guy? And you wouldn't make it weird. <laughs> you just laugh it off with me and give me play-by-play -play of that guy feeling at a cake stand. I remember when they brought out the birthday cake. You hung in the back with me to whisper jokes and keep me included in something I couldn't see enough to take part in. I've never believed in, like, insta-love. God, you know how much I hate you, cute stories. <laughs> but, I don't know. Somehow, that's what we had. You're so funny. You are so, so funny, and I love it. You don't take life too seriously, but you have the tact to know when to take me seriously. You just have this quality about you. You're so sensitive to the world, and... So happy to be in it. I love it. I love your kindness and your compassion and your overwhelming love for others. I know I don't open up a lot, but I am trying to. You mean so much to me and I just love you. Hey, you awake? I'm sorry if I woke you. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Um, you didn't hear too much of that, did you? Oh, just the part where I said how much I love everything about your personality. That's all, huh? I don't know why I don't talk to you like that more. <laughs> I'm glad you liked hearing it, though. What do you mean you thought you'd never find anyone and tell me? Oh, hon, you're not unattractive. Don't say things like that about yourself. You deserve more kindness than that. Just because I can't see you doesn't mean I don't know how handsome you are. I can show you what I mean. For example, when I hold onto your shoulders like this, 
I can feel your strength and your muscles tense under the skin where I touch. And when I kiss your chest and taste you, I can feel your soft, warm skin. And if I slide my hands up to your neck, like this, I can feel that little bit of stubble beginning to grow out, which tells me you need to shave, mister. <laughs> and if I kiss your neck, I can feel your Adam's apple bounce with nerves. Now, as I slide my hands up to your jaw and trace your strong jawline with my fingers, I can feel even more of that fresh stubble, and I know to line at you to shave tomorrow because I prefer you clean cut. <laughs> it's much more pleasant to kiss you without the stubble. <laughs> And I don't need sight to tell you how soft and full and kissable your lips are. <laughs> and when I touch your cheeks like this, I can feel the high cheekbones and your strong features. And when I kiss your nose, I can tell that it's pronounced, but soft, like the rest of you. You are so beautiful. You are strong, and you're gentle. And I am so deeply attracted to you, whether I can see you or not. I don't want to ever hear you say you're not worthy of love, or that you aren't attractive enough. Yes, you do have a beautiful personality, but I want you to know you're hot as well. Hmm? You want me to do that more often? You mean poke around on your face a bunch and tell you you're hot? <laughs> oh, yeah. Open up. Uh, I'll, I'll try. I promise. Because you do really mean the world to me. Genuinely. Hey. I love you. <laughs> really? The first time I say it out loud and all you can say is you already knew. You're a jerk. <laughs> yeah. I know you do. <laughs>